looking for the best Raspberry Pi alternatives for you. Then you're in the right place. We've assembled a list of the top 5 Raspberry Pi alternatives that we've reviewed. We have reviewed many products and selected 5 products based on performance, unique features and many users, and if you can't find a Raspberry Pi alternatives that suits your needs exactly, keep this video for future updates. For their prices please visit the link in the description of this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Without further ado, here are our top recommended Raspberry Pi alternatives. Number 1 on the list is Audroid XU4. A long-time rival of the Raspberry Pi, the Audroid XU4 makes our list as one of the best alternatives on the market today. It more or less adopts the form factor of the Pi, while implementing some higher specifications in some areas and opting for lesser components in others. Overall, it's a powerful single-board computer with a low power draw suited to a good selection of open-source operating systems such as Linux and Android. The Audroid XU4 features a Samsung Exynos 5422 CPU that pushes speeds of 2 GHz on its 4 Cortex-A15 and 1.4 GHz on its 4 Cortex-A7, 2 GB of LPDDR3 RAM, a Mali-T628 GPU, 2 USB 3.0 ports, 1 USB 2.0 port, and Gigabit Ethernet port, 1 HDMI 1.4 a port, Microsoft card slot, up to 128 GB and an MK 5.0 HS400 interface up to 64 GB, much speedier than the South Dakota card tooling on the Pi. In action, all these parts combine to deliver excellent data transfer speeds, fast booting, smooth web browsing, and even good gaming performance. Unlike the Raspberry Pi 4, the Audroid XU4 forgoes wireless functionality with no Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connectivity. Securing a dongle and popping it into one of the USB ports is an easy fix, but priced higher than the Pi 4, it's an omission that does drag down the overall offering of the Audroid XU4. Under normal circumstances, you can expect to pay around $60 for the Audroid XU4, but prices have surged considerably in the wake of the pandemic as of late. As such, it's a Raspberry Pi alternative for those with a decently sized budget, rather than thrifty makers. Second on the list is Asus Tinkerboard S. Other than Raspberry Pi, which has deservedly garnered some major mainstream interest in the past decade, most single-board computer manufacturers remain relatively obscure entities. With the Asus Tinkerboard S, you have the peace of mind that comes with buying from a major player in the PC space, Asus. Manufacturer pedigree aside, the Asus Tinkerboard S is a powerful SPC that doesn't shy away from trying to mimic the Raspberry Pi in form factor and versatility. You'll find a generous spread of ports, 4 USB 2.0 ports, Gigabit Ethernet, 3.5mm audio, HDMI port, micro USB port South Dakota card slot, and the same 40-pin GPIO for HAT expansion modules. Its hardware slightly bests the RPI, Rockchip Quad-Core RK3288 1.8 GHz CPU, 2 GB of LPDDR3 RAM, and a 600 MHz Mali-T764 GPU. A highlight is unquestionably the inclusion of an onboard 16 GB AMP for a substantial boost to read and write speeds over the Pi's standard South Dakota card storage, something we rarely see in D single board computers that usually necessitate the purchase of third-party storage, whether that's in South Dakota card or AMC. Additionally, much like the Pi, the Asus Tinkerboard S boasts onboard Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity with an upgradable U-Florida IPEX antenna header. The 3.5mm audio jack is also interesting in that it supports 192 24-bit HD audio playback with an automatic audio jack detection feature. With an asking price of around $100, the Asus Tinkerboard S certainly isn't cheap, but the package does include the board, a heat sink, power adapter, and micro USB cable. Number 3 on the list is Libra Computer Board AMLS 905 XCC. Modeled on the Raspberry Pi 3, the Libra Computer Board AMLS 905 XCC, commonly known as La Potato, adopts a familiar form factor, port positioning, and performance as the last-gen flagship Pi. Although the Raspberry Pi 4 has stolen the show since launching two years ago, the Pi 3 is still well-loved among makers, and La Potato does well 
to channel the Pi 4's predecessor with one of the most versatile Pi alternatives on the market. Under the hood, it features an ARM V8 Cortex A53 1.5 GHz CPU, 750 MHz Mali 450 MP GPU, and 2 GB of DDR3 RAM. The layout will be familiar to anyone that's dabbled with the Pi with roughly the same arrangement of four USB 2.0 ports, 100 MB fast Ethernet port, HDMI 2.0 port, audio, micro USB port South Carolina card slot, and 40-pin GPIO header for hat add-ons. All these serve a broad range of applications and projects, making La Potato an extremely versatile Raspberry Pi alternative. The Libra computer board AMLS 905 XEC also bundles in a handy AMC interface and a wealth of encoders decoders for 4K media delivery and playback, including VP9P2, H265, and H264. We also like La Potato for its broad compatibility with a range of operating systems, including Ubuntu, Android, RetroPie, Librelec, Debian, Raspbian, and Armbian, to cite but a few. The main drawback of the Libra computer board AMLS 905 XEC is that placed side by side with the Raspberry Pi 4, it does fall short in raw performance and misses out on wireless connectivity. Nevertheless, among alternatives, it stands among the most value-packed options. Number 4 on the list is Arduino Uno. As one of the most respected purveyors of single board computers, Arduino had to make our list in one way or another, and among the company's range, the Arduino Uno is an excellent option for beginner as well as budget conscious makers, but also those looking for an ultra compact Raspberry Pi alternative. The Arduino Uno is substantially smaller than the Raspberry Pi and features an ATM EGA 328p microcontroller running at 16 MHz, 32 KB flash memory. 2KB of SRAM, with 14 digital input-output pins, including 6 compatible with PWM outputs, and 6 analog inputs. On the port side of things, it's fairly limited with one USB port, a power jack, ICSP header, and reset button. Unlike the Raspberry Pi, which can play a role as an ultra-compact desktop replacement, the Arduino Uno is best suited to electronic projects, experimentation, and learning programming. As such, its performance and functionality are commensurate with these applications. In other words, the Raspberry Pi is a much more powerful board than the Arduino Uno. Nevertheless, it remains one of the most popular single board computers in the world, not least because it costs no more than $20. It's an ideal pick for prototyping or integrated boards used for robotics, tinkering with sensors and actuators, monitoring systems, LEDs controllers, and learning to program. Number 5 on the list is Orange Pi 1. The Orange Pi 1, another Pi imitator in form factor and functionality, lands a sport on our list, mainly because it costs less than the Raspberry Pi 4, making it a good pick for thrifty makers and DE enthusiasts. It should suit projects as varied as media servers and retro gaming systems to more technical applications. The Orange Pi 1 features a quad-core Cortex-A7 1.2 GHz CPU, 600 MHz Mali 400 MP2 GPU, and 1 GB DDR3. The specifications are underpowered when compared to those of the Raspberry Pi 4. A reasonable compromise given the lower asking price, and it does well to make the most of the hardware it does house on the board. The Orange Pi 1 is well served with an South Dakota card slot, up to 32 GB, CSI input for a camera, HDMI output, 3 USB 2.0 ports, an Ethernet port, a power button, and a Pi-like 40-pin GPIO header to connect all manner of head expansion modules. Once again, not quite as expansive as a genuine Pi, but enough for reasonably complex applications. Operating system compatibility extends to Android, Ubuntu, and Debian. The low asking price does mean some cut corners, not least is the absence of wireless connectivity, whether that's Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, but this can easily be fixed with a USB dongle, so a minor issue for us that doesn't weigh down the Orange Pi 1 too much. Just now is a list of 5 best Raspberry Pi alternatives that we would like to introduce to you. For more detailed information about these products, please visit the link in the description of this video. 
and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, you will receive our latest videos. Thank you.